Hey guys, today we will be reviewing the recently published Cisco Security Reference Architecture. And I'm really excited to talk about it because every time we talk about security, it's in a specific context. Sometimes we're talking about network security, or sometimes it's cloud security, DNS security, email security, web security, and the list goes on and on. But what does the big picture look like? Or how should we paint the bigger picture of a working security architecture? Let's have a look. On my left here, we start with user and device security, right? So the hybrid world has become a new norm now. Everyone's working remotely. So we want to make sure the workforce, our workforce that's working remotely is able to securely connect to the resources that are sitting either in the cloud or in our on-premise network, right? And we also want to make sure that um, because they're working remotely, um, Things like zero trust and sassy remote work are also come into play where, where you want to enable your endpoint devices or users with things like multi-factor authentication. You want to make sure that they have secure email. Uh, also a part of their sassy uh, architecture, you want to make sure that the client that's connecting to the resources has capabilities like secure VPN. It's able to provide posture of the devices we're able to collect the telemetry from it. We're able to do threat containment and detection of it. And then once we have these features enabled on our endpoint, let's move on to the next step, which is the network security. In the network security, uh, cloud has become a big part of our network now uh, because not all our applications and resources are sitting in on-premise anymore. It's more of a hybrid thing where you have some of your resources sitting in the cloud and some of them are in uh, like still on premise, right? So when things that are sitting in the cloud, we want to make sure that we are providing them with the same kind of security as you would for a resource that's on prem. So for from a cloud perspective, the security, the cloud security is enabled by Umbrella and Duo, which provides you with zero trust network access. You it provides you with DNS level security, layer seven firewall things like data loss and prevention and things like remote browser isolation. So this, all this combined together provides you with a good security posture in the cloud. And then let's get to the on-premise part of it. In on-premise, we, we, from a work zero trust standpoint, we, we talk about having a secure workplace in the, as part of secure workplace, ICE enables the segmentation in your workplace so that you know um, there's a specific context about all the data that's flowing through your network, right? So you, we, we are able to tag the devices or the users or the flows so that we can identify which flow is what. So that segmentation is achieved by ICE. And then when we look at, when we look at IOT or OT space, then our, we already, already had industrial router and firewalls in place for many years now. But with cyber vision, it provides us with more visibility into the machines. And if there's something that's behaving out of norm, we, we get that kind of visibility and protection, uh, powered by cyber vision. Now we talk about SASE and like how, how SASE comes into the play here, right? So SASE, things that are on-prem, they're connecting to um, their resources using SD-WAN. That's where our SASE play comes into play, right? Where, where you're using our SD-WAN to connect to your resources, but on top of it, as you see in the Cloud Edge, you see that you are also getting protection by umbrella to make sure that every connection or any traffic that's flowing through the SD-WAN gets gets features like DNS level security, uh, layer seven firewall and IPS and all that good stuff. Now, once we have our network security covered, let's, let's move on to application security. In application security, from a zero trust standpoint, we talk about protecting your workloads, right? We wanna make sure that whatever is going on in our data center or in the cloud from a workload standpoint, that stays protected as well. So to protect something, we need to have visibility into it. So secure workloads provides 
Cisco Secure Workload provides us with that visibility into our workload uh, to make sure that it, it does like a behavior analysis, make sure that if it notifies you if there's something out of the ordinary uh, and if someone, some application starts talking to a new uh, server suddenly, which is out of the norm, it, you wanna get notified about all those things, right? So workload security is covered by that, right? And you, at the same time, now that we've got so many things uh, that are app based, you also want to make sure that you're not getting attacked at an app level or API level. App Dynamics, Cisco App Dynamics provides you with that kind of visibility into the code within the applications to make sure that you, no one's attacking your, uh, you at the code level. So it, it provides you with complete application security. Now, to top it all up, SecureX brings everything together, right? Cisco SecureX is our XDR solution, which uh, brings user device security, network security, and application security to one place. So which from where you're able to manage better, you're able to orchestrate, automate, and respond uh, in your environment. It also provides you with things like third-party integration, threat visibility, and hunting. So all in all, Everything that you protected, now we're bringing all of that together through SecureX. And last but not the least, all this, the brains behind this whole operation is powered by Talos. Talos is our, uh, literally the brain behind all this, our network infrastructure or security infrastructure where it provides you with malware analytics, it provides you with actionable intelligence uh, and un collective responses, so that you're able to automate some of those responses, you're able to get a complete uh, visibility and control powered by so something that's so powerful as Talos to, to give you all, all the information about all the threats, all the zero day threats or the new threats or old threats. And, and so basically making your whole environment intelligent. So as you can see here, we start off with user security, user and device security, went to network security, then application security, then we brought it all together uh, with SecureX. That really is a state of art in my opinion, because now you're able to see the big picture. You're also able to see where Zero Trust comes into play, where SASE comes into play. So I think this is perfect, right? For, for anyone who wants to know more about any of these specific modules or products, please reach out to your accounts team and they'll hook you up. Thank you.